Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today we'll take a look at power. I often get the question which PSUs are best for different styles of mining. So today we'll examine that question. We'll talk about both GPU and ASIC mining, especially ATX PSUs and HP server PSUs. Sometimes I get the notion that people think ATX PC PSUs are for GPU mining only and server PSUs are only for ASICs, but that is not true. It is simply a fact of personal preference, price and sometimes also noise. What we won't look at today are Chinese all-in-one PSUs, like Bitmain's APW something. These are possibilities as well, but personally I try to avoid them. There is no harm in them and I know many people who run them and never had problems. But firstly, I simply don't trust their specs or efficiency. Secondly, they tend to run pretty loud if you're not willing to go through a rather complicated customization process. What you see on screen is my friend CryptoMP Miner who went through the hassle of modding an APW3 with a Noctua fan, making it almost completely silent. So let's discuss. Both ATX power supplies and HP server PSUs are viable options for your different mining operations. Just that you need to consider different factors if you go for either. ATX power supplies are generally more expensive if you buy new and personally here I don't trust used parts too much, except if you know where they came from. In my whole mining career only one PSU has died on me, which was a be quiet 1000 watts dark power. I always try to go for platinum rated efficiency, so that is why I started to use and love the Corsair HX. ATX PSUs. They have run both ASICs and GPU mining rigs for me. If running an ASIC, you'll need to short the 24 pin in order for it to turn on. I link a graph on how to do this below. I've used the paperclip method in the past, but there are also cheap adapters to do so. Nowadays, they are even included with many PSUs in order to test if they run. One important factor here to consider is that you don't mix cables between manufacturers or generally not even between different models of the same manufacturers. These cables are rated differently and here you are inviting a fire hazard into your mining operation. So keep that in mind. For example, Corsair has as a compatibility guide for the cables. This has helped me a lot in the past. Now let's turn to HP server PSUs. Not all HP server PSUs are made the same. You can find gold and platinum rated efficiencies, so be careful. I've made the mistake in the past of mixing them up. Also, here you'll mostly find used parts, but I would not worry about that if it's a reliable source. These PSUs are built like tanks and can mostly be found used, because commercial users still replace them regularly. For example, I've found server supply shops where you can even get them with warranties. You'll have some effort on your side, but generally you can find a fitting setup much much cheaper than with the ATX way. The HP server PSU alone won't help you. You need a breakout board in order to connect cables. Here I've tried many different ones and some time ago you could only find them from dedicated hardware shops and the ones you could find in China were of cheap quality. I ordered some to test them and they work, but I found them to run extremely hot, which worried me. So I only have them as worst case backup. Nowadays I've made better experiences with the Chinese breakout boards also, if you go for more advanced options. Shops I can recommend here are Deep in the Mines or Parallel Miners. I'm not affiliated with either of them, but never had problems and received everything I ordered. The L3 Plus for example is on a China breakout board, which has also served me well. In the past I've also received broken parts. But I could already see that when unpacking it, so if I see a damage like this, I don't even try to connect a miner. 6-pin to 6-pin PCIe cables can also be found cheap, but I'd never go for the cheapest option, rather say the middle of the playing field. Back in the day you could also find high-powered PCIe cables, but it seems that my old sources are all sold out. If you want to run an ASIC, you're basically done. You just have to mind that you have enough slots on your breakout board and generally I try to avoid splitters here. No need to risk anything. If you want to run a GPU mining rig with HP server PSUs, you'll need an additional little gadget. These are called Pico style PSUs. As you saw with the breakout boards, we only have 6-pin connectors, so there's no way to power your 24-pin of the motherboard. So 
uh, Pico PSU gives you that 24 pin back and is powered by 6 pin to DC power. Here I have to add that I just had to undergo a rig rebuild because I thought my Pico style PSU died after 2 years of 24 7 usage. It was not an original one but rather a Chinese rebuild but in the end it was not the PSU's fault after all. But that is a story for another video. Most Pico style PSU's also allow you to connect additional Molex or SATA. If you are running your rig with an SSD, you should use the SATA of the Pico PSU to power it. Otherwise it might not be recognized, which happened to me with the AMD rig. Please don't power a riser with that SATA connector. What I have done though is that I've powered the riser with the additional Molex connector you get, which is no problem. So why even go through the hassle? Well if you already have a large enough ATX PSU and all of the cables you need for your GP rig, there's no harm in using that. But I just love the versatility of HP server PSUs. You can switch them around rather easily. For example, when I'm downsizing cards, I can switch from a 1200 watts to a 750 watt server PSU in under two minutes. You have multitudes of possibilities in terms of cables, and I never had problems with mixing cables. For example, I use Corsair's 6 pin 2 Molex cables to power risers from an HP server PSU. When you run out of slots, simply get a bigger breakout board and still no hassle to switch things. Up. One thing to add with HP server PSUs is that in a hot environment their fan can run pretty loud. So mind that if you are planning a living room mining rig. ATX power supplies will always be more silent. Some people claim that ATX power supplies are not made for running 24-7, but I've had ATX power supplies run for years on end without dying. The one PSU which died on me did so because of a power surge, not because of running too long. So to sum up, is there one way which is better than the other? I think there's not. It really is a fact of personal preference, availability and price. With an ATX power supply you will get silence and depending on the manufacturer a longer warranty. They generally run more silent than the counterpart, but for that you sacrifice a bit of versatility in terms of cables. Besides that, as mentioned, they are generally more expensive. The HP server ones are the tanks in terms of PSUs in my opinion. Even with having to buy a Pico PSU and breakout board, you can still get away cheaper than with most platinum rated ATX PSUs and you get versatility and can exchange them easily. I like both ways for either GPU and ASIC and you have seen both on the channel already. How do you guys run your mining operation and is there anything I did not mention? What's your favorite brand of PSU? please tell me in the comments. That's already it for this week. May your PSUs hold strong. All the best to each and every one of you. Happy mining and bye!